my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. We are on the last video for March, which just means there's a couple more days of March, the weekend, and Monday is April 1st. I'm excited, I don't know why. It just kind of like flips over mentally. Hopefully I'm good. I'm like double layered on the clothing because you know, it's still rainy and dreary and chilly. Chilly here in Northern Virginia where I am. I had um, a question that I wanted to answer first because one of our friends left a YouTube question asking, you know, how do I decide what quilt I w want to give away? Or if I'm looking at a quilt, how do I decide if I if that's the quilt that I no longer want to own and I will uh, have it go somewhere else to live? Uh, and that is, it's all individual. Every single quilt I make that decision on. There isn't like a blanket if it's older than 19, no, 2001, I get rid of it. No, because there are quilts I did in the beginning that I want to keep. Uh, there are new quilts I want to keep. There are brand new quilts that you just saw from a quilt along that I'm ready to let go. It's an individual decision on every single quilt. Uh, and she, uh, she referenced the drawing room one that we did uh, together because I said I would keep the smaller one. And she said like, you know, why the smaller one? Well, space, 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 <laughs> I, and use. The bigger version of this, the full size pattern that um, I had already done because it went to the trade show. Uh, let me get this right side up. I think this is right. Anyway, so we done. I did the full size of this that went to the trade show and hung in the trade show. And then for the quilt along, um, of drawing room, I did the smaller version, which ad added a border. So the smaller version is smaller to store, right? Takes up less space. It is also less usable as a lap quilt for a person. And so the other one is going to be the one that goes to charity so that if it happens to go to a person, it is a more usable size. And so this particular quilt, that was the decision, but most of the quilts, actually every single other quilt that you saw that'll go in that stack was not this decision because I didn't make two of them. This is the only one that I had duplicated. So that's why it's impossible to say what, what the reasoning was. You know, something might be like, I might have five spring table runners. I have one coffee table. So I can let some of those go. I might have three different styles of tulip wall hangings. Maybe two of them are similar size. One of them will go. Um, I might have a piece that is no longer fitting in the style I like to decorate in. And if I happen to go back to the older style, I'll just make something new because I'm constantly going to be making things. So every single piece has its own decision. So I hope that helps. Uh, and if you're going through that yourself, each one is going to have its own decision. There isn't any blanket way to say, I'm going to get rid of the first 10 years of my quilts. Uh, you probably will regret that. <laughs> Don't just take it one quilt at a time and decide what you want to do with it. Okay, today is marble day. <gasps> Love marbles. So I like to put them in a jar so you can see them. So if you have a quilt with marbled fabric, share that today at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. It is also World Crayon Day. So if you have a quilt with sort of crayon colors, <laughs> you know, like those vibrant, you know, original box of crayon colors, or there's actually patterns out there that are crayons, you know, so if you've made one of those, share those today too, because they're a lot of fun. Reminder that the calendar, I didn't bring it over here, but the calendar, let me pop it up. <laughs> so the calendar for April is ready to download. If you are on my email notice, it will be in that, um, in the blog post today. It is also at I Love to Make Quilts on the calendar page. And so they're, they're always, always there. And you can get past calendars if for some reason you want them. I don't know why, why do I have the past calendars? Why? I don't know, I started it and now they're all there, so. <laughs> that's that's the way they that's the way it is 
Sunday is Easter Sunday, and I wanted to show you my carrot table runner because I was when I was going through some of the quilts, this one popped up, and like remember I said I have multiple spring quilts and one coffee table. I can put like a runner on the um, dining room table too, which I already have, but I could like I could have put this one on there. That would be cute on the dining room table. I think my dining room table is a circle, you know, <laughs> I'm a round dining room table, but it still looks cute when you, you lay that. So there's the carrots. I had so much fun designing the carrots. See, this could hang as a banner too. That's another way I could display it. So super cute. And then I remember doing the pillow just as a little accent for the orange. So Someday I'd like to have a little chair in the in the dining room, like in the corner, like a little sitting chair, and decorate it. <laughs> I just want it for decorating. <laughs> so that's in one of my holiday books. I'll link you below. And speaking of the quilts, this is my Secret Lives of Color, which I pulled off the charity quilts. So many of you wrote me about this one and how much you enjoyed it and how much I shouldn't give it away yet. <laughs> so, so here you can see it again. So the Secret Lives of Color is back in my pile. It has to go right side up. We do not want the ballerinas upside down or the words upside down. So there we go. So here's my Secret Lives of Color. And so I will, I will keep it. I will put the binding on it. Remember, I was trying to sort of move things out that needed binding because there is a group that puts binding on for the charity, you know, and they're doing mine and, you know, then the quilt goes right to charity. It does not come back to me. So uh, I was looking for pieces that I could just do that with. But OK, so I I am I'm keeping this one for a little while. We'll see. We, we will see. We will see how long that is. OK, let's look at. I want to look at the sew sampler box and I will get the press flowers up onto the design wall. But first we're going to look at what's in the box uh, because what's on the design wall is the block a day and I need to finish that um, and, and show you the final. <laughs> so here's the sampler box for the month. What month? I'm like lost. What, what month? March. That's this month. No, wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, I figured out, I figured out the, what those three fabrics were. Oh my goodness. Remember I said I needed to kind of go through the stuff I have? What, what? I cannot, I couldn't believe that I couldn't figure it out. Because they looked really good together, but they don't go together at all, at all. So the navy, which I know I got a lot of it just because I like it for using on different things, but it is from, and the, and the cinnamon one is from the Sunrise, Sunrise Side line, which what, the problem with this is that I kept looking at it thinking it was kind of a red, white, and blue line, and it's actually red, white, and cinnamon, not red, it's navy, white, and cinnamon. Uh, so. I, ca I, I saw this like at this edge sitting there and there's no cinnamon really. So I was like, okay, that's not it, but it really is it. So that, there we go. I have that. And then the taupe, the taupe goes with the layer cake. So I got, got that, this layer cake, and this is all in the description box and I'll uh, link it at my website too. Um, Heavenly have honey bloom, honey bloom. So that's the taupe from that line. And then the other is another totally different line called Willow, Willow, and that is the teal. Okay, so, so if you have bought fabric and then taken days to figure out, I'm missing more than days. This is like, I just didn't address it for a little while because I was like, I need to root through things and it wasn't coming wasn't surfacing. It's like, why did I get these? I'm going to have to start writing myself a note when I do the order. Like, this is what these things are for. My goodness. That's crazy. All right. So our March so sampler box, this is a, a reveal. So for those of you who don't know, this is a subscription you can order from the Fat Quarter Shop. It comes once a month. It is fabulous. There's a discount uh, every month for something. And it's just, the box is always super, super awesome. 
So we're going to take a look in here. This is also where the pressed flowers free pattern is, which is still has a few more months to go. Okay, so there's a little, uh, a little like it's spring memories. Okay, and you're going to get, oh, like 20% off fat eight bundles. So that is an awesome discount. Okay, we'll put that over here. There's always a little card that tells you what everything is, and I don't read that right away. So what, what is in here? Okay, always expect more. So it is a foundation piecing water pen. I don't know what that means. And some tweezers. So I'm going to have to learn what a foundation paper piecing water pen is. Uh... So the tweezers are nice for pulling the paper out. Um, so you run the brush tip along your seam line, the water loosens the paper. Okay, so, so it's to help um, loosen paper from paper piecing, because some paper piecing is very tight, you know, like you have very narrow things like that, sort of um, that, I forget the name of it now, that pattern I got the other day, this paper piece. Those would have like a lot of little tight slivers of paper to get out, so that'll, that'll help with that. Then we have vintage. Ah, oh, I saw this online. Vintage, the fabric line. Um, we're just going to open it up. Because this is one that if you're doing Heart of America, is a great option for the quilt. If you like a little bit more traditional Americana colors. So, oh, they, um, yeah. The, the, I can't think of their name right now. What, what, yes, Sweetwater. Sweetwater always does some great text print. So this is super cool in red and aqua for this mini but bundle. Some more text print. <clears throat> Little banners in white and navy. Little tiny flower prints. This is pretty on the white and aqua. Another great text print. Another scale. A number print. Look at that. Super cool. And gold. Two different shades of, of gold. And it comes with a pattern. The pattern's always exclusive. So that's the exclusive pattern that goes to using these. But they also give you on the back um, a QR code to go right to the Fat Quarter Shop to get the free um, fruitcake one that hangs on the other side of my table here that can also use fat eights. So you could do a version of that instead if you weren't looking for banners. Then we get a little, um, oh, a zipper pull. I love zipper pulls. Yeah, they're so great for all the mesh bags, quilter, and then some foundation triangles on a roll. Super awesome. And then our pressed flowers block. Oh, and I see the layout pattern. I'm so excited. Ah, yay! Love is in the mist. <clears throat> so this is the flower. I have to get my box out and show you mine then and uh, with the sleepover. And then the layout pattern. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Ah, oh, finally. So we can be, we can start sewing the layout. Okay, so next thing is I have a few little clips about sort of getting the quilt to this point, uh, the block a day. So let's take a look at those. So you can see here, I have sides, I have a full block, there's a full block, and then here is the middle that goes with that one, and then here's its other side, and then both of these sides need the second stripe. Once I put those on, then I'll start feeding over. This was finished, so it can go on the wall, and then I can use the next block to intersperse as I'm finishing up this one. So I've got, got, it's really pretty much only two under the needle at once, and then this comes in after, because I'm done with this one now, so this comes in next. So I'm getting it filled in, just sort of rearranging the blocks here, and I put all of the side borders up. I still don't have the corners, so I'm going to do that at the very end, but uh, yeah, so those are, those are how many I still have to make, uh, working on it. Here are the last three blocks. One's the same, two, 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 and these two are the same. So what I'm gonna do is just stick them here. And let's see, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I have this one right up here, so that 
is a default then to put it in this spot since I don't want to put two blocks, two similar blocks right below each other. Okay, so here, here we go. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. So I do have to switch. I have to, those ones I just put up there, I think I have to rotate them all because I need the stripe going the right way. You know, no, 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 no. The stripes have to go the right way. All I have to do is rotate the block. And of course, it looks like I have to rotate all three of them. Oh no, third one's okay. All right, there we go. All right, so that means I have this bottom half to sew the vertical, or the horizontal, sew the horizontal rows. Okay, let's do it. Okay, don't you love when your best friend, Kimberly Jolly, sends you a box of stuff that's that quarter shop? This just came, this just came. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this is impromptu. I wasn't planning to do this, but it's here, so we should see. <gasps> oh, I had to have the owl project bag. This big old owl, look at this. That's a big project bag. Oh my goodness, but look how gorgeous the owl is. <gasps> love, love the owl. How amazing. I don't know, I think this is a quilt bag. Maybe, maybe put your whole quilt project in. That's huge. Okay, all right. I have got, I got a bundle of this navy and green, which is the piece and quilt, the other colorway of the piece and quilt. I just, I just love that fabric. So I got a, that eighth bundle might do something with. It feels very summery. I got two cross stitch because you know how much I cross stitch. <laughs> not but I love the patterns and someday I will do them so I got these two I'm on an owl thing having an owl moment I got oh I got some mint flatter remember I demoed that we well, demoed that magic project but I also like the ones with the scent so I got some mint and I got a cool okay this is all like solar eclipse stuff solar eclipse fabrics because we're going to sew the solar eclipse. I'm going to probably start it on April 8th, the solar eclipse day, and then work on it. Mondays and Tuesdays we'll do an update where we are, the quilt along for the solar eclipse. So I got a couple of shades of gray and this cute tea towel. Let me show you. Who doesn't need a solar eclipse tea towel? I mean, if you're not going to make the quilt, buy a tea towel. <laughs> <laughs> look look isn't that gorgeous <gasps> love it and the I like I like these tea towels I like the feel of them so these are a gingerbread design ah oh, okay so I have got I will be showing you this not right now but I will show you this so what I do need to do right now and I probably will be tomorrow I'm sewing and finishing up this for Monday's video but I'll show, I'll show you today here. <laughs> I'm babbling. Stop that. Stop. Okay. So we're going to, going to get this sewn the center and then pick a board of fabric. And that's how we'll wrap up today. And then on Monday and Tuesday next week, I will finish this guy with the border fabrics and then talk about two of the sew alongs, uh, for that are new on the calendar for, um, April. Okay. Okay. So I'm babbling. Let's go. Let's go. I love the boxes unboxing okay bye <laughs> when sewing these long layers together what I do is I find that four patch there's my pink and navy four patch I find the first one on the end from the end and then I know I will be fine the whole way across and you can see here that we've got you know it's kind of just unusual because it's on the diagonal but as long as you've got this first four patch matched and they're the same fabrics then you know that you're that you're matching then I can go forward and they're lined up. So we want to put the triangle on the end. This is the end piece. And I'm basically centering the, the wide end of the triangle to the middle of this rectangle. And so I need the middle of the rectangle. So I will just take it and press and press the center. I'm not going to the outer edges. I'm not worrying about the squares. All I want is the center of this guy. And so I have the center of him and then the center of the triangle. Press that. And I know you can't see that, but I can see it. I can see it. 
sort of. <laughs> no, there it is. Okay, then I would pin this on here, and then you can see there's little tails that hang off, but I do not want to measure the center from folding these ends together. Just take those seam of each on um, either side of the rectangle and fold it. And so when this is sewn, we just mock that up, you will have the end. And I will be finishing all this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week working on this. So this is all I'm doing for this guy. So let's look at the pressed flowers. No, wait, before I'm finished <laughs> to the, go to the pressed flowers, here are my three border options. And you can leave me a note in the comments, navy and white, red and navy, or red and white. Uh, really, really, really. <laughs> Do you think there's a choice? But tell me what you would use. And then I've got two inner border options. This is the same that's used in the blocks, and this one's a bit lighter. So, like if I were going to use here, I would want the. I think I would take the bit lighter just to brighten up this print a little bit. But on the other two, I think I would go with the navy. I will. I will pick one of those borders and inner borders. But leave me comments about it and. Um, Next week, we'll, we'll wrap that part up. We'll get it wrapped up. Not what I wanted, but hey. Also, this is a pain in the butt, this, this bandage. It's a pain in the butt. I can't wait till I don't have to have that anymore. I get the stitches out on Monday, but you'll see this filmed with filming on Mondays and Tuesdays video because I'll be doing that prior. So anyway, in the mail, I got some really cutie patootie things. This is from Lori in um, Michigan, and she sent... Look at this. And it's seeds. It's one of these papers that um, dissolves and the seeds are in here. So cool. And <laughs> mushroom post it notes. <gasps> Just so darling. So darling. And then I got another super cute thing. This is from Marsha in North Carolina. And these are pressed flowers. Now, Marsha, you didn't say whether you press these yourself, but I wouldn't be surprised if you did. They're absolutely gorgeous. And then she found some jelly bean gummies. Oh, crazy, right? Crazy. They look so good. And some cute mushroom socks. I'm gonna definitely be wearing all these socks as soon as it's a tad warmer, because I need to wear my wool socks when it's damp and cold out. But these are all going to be rotating my socks. I can't wait. Ah, alrighty, alrighty, my block for the pressed flowers. And this is the last block. I didn't look in advance before I opened the sew sampler. So it's the last block and we get the layout. Woohoo! So the layout. There it is. It's going to be set. Is it four by three? It's probably three by four. I didn't look again. <laughs> so I think it's three by four. But you can see it easier set up that way. And here is the last. I got to put the cord on the. There we go. So here we go. I will actually. There we go. All you can see all of them. Easier to see all of them this way. So I will actually go and um, rearrange them to a three by four setting and take a picture and that'll be on my website today. Uh, so you can see it and yeah, so awesome. So that they're not in any order. I just took them out of the box and stuck them up there because I definitely want to rotate and have some of the darker purples and the lighter purples all switched around. And I'm wearing purple to go with that today. Yeah, so cool. Ah, oh, all right, this was a lot and I didn't get to the, everything that I wanted to get to, but you know, that's the way it is. This is real life always real life <laughs> and I want to remind you the Sloan Zone discount at the sewing parts online is for most things it is not for your big ticket items I've said this before but I'll repeat it it's not for the big ticket items like sewing machines or um, you know cabinetry those those have to be priced in a much different way for companies uh, so but most other things your batting your thread the patterns the fabric they carry the notions it's awesome and it's a permanent discount with sewing parts online at 10% off for the things that it covers and I will put it on my shopping page so by the time you see this it should be there on the shopping page all right my friend I love you Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.